In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a header, but this time I won't be using the header option in the theme builder. I'm going to use the old school header way of designing our header. Now this actually works with the theme builder. So let me just show you quickly what this looks like. So if we take a look at our website here, I've already gone ahead and um, styled this. So it has all our basic features. As I'm scrolling here, you can see it has um, reduced in size. I can also change the color of this as I'm scrolling down and it's also fixed and this is also mobile friendly so you can see here when i drag this browser we have these hamburger icons and we can also change that color so this header option has a lot of features that um, the header option that we have with the dv builder doesn't have so you may want to use the old school way of designing our headers but anyway i show you that in this video now before we get started if you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites with divi and you haven't bought divi yet if you buy divi using my affiliate link i will give you access to my web design formula course it's worth 497 dollars and it pretty much teaches you from start to end how to become a professional web designer all right so without wasting a lot of time let's dive in and let me show you how to design this header so as you can see here we are using this new header which comes with the theme builder so we need to use the old school header with our theme builder so let me show you how to do that so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go in and click on dashboard and we want to first of all go in and disable this header so I'm going to come over here to theme builder. In fact, we're not disabling, we're actually de deleting it. All right, so I'm going to delete that, delete global header. So as you can see here, we don't have the header on the, um, the global one, but on the search results, we have this header here. So we can also get rid of it, but you know what? We just want to uh, keep it simple and just show you how to create this. So I'm going to click on save changes and then to um, work on our header. In fact, before we do that, let's just visit our website and see what it looks like now that we've uh, disabled it. So this is our old school header. Now let's go ahead and customize this and make it really look nice. So I'm going to come over here. Next, I'm going to go to appearance and then I'm going to click on customize. Now this is where we have access to our header settings. So over here, I can click on header and navigation. Let me just get rid of this. And uh, now we can start working on our design. So first of all, we can choose our format. So here we can enable vertical navigation. So let's say you want to have your navigation here on the left. You can edit like that, but you know what? We're going to keep everything simple. And then you can also hide the navigation on scroll. So when I start scrolling, that's when it comes up, but by default, it stays up there. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to click here on primary header. Now this is where we have all our settings to style our header. So here we can start by uh, changing our active color. Now you see the colors that we have here are the same colors that we have in our color palette, which is great because I can play around with the colors here and really get the design that I want. Okay, so let's start by adding a background color because uh, by adding a background color, it makes it easier for you to now add the uh, uh, colors of the text. So over here, our background color is white, as you can see. So let's change that. And let's see what color works here. So we could go with that really dark one or see. Okay, you know what? Let's go with a dark version here. So that's gonna be our background color. And then on the active color, in fact, before we add the active, we need to add our text color here. So let's go with, let's go with that. In fact, we might even go with white. I can see there's some transparency there. So I wanna get rid of that transparency because I really want my text to really show. All right, so that's going to be my color there for my menu. Next, I am going to add my active link color. So here I'm going to choose a color from my palette. So you can see here my active link color has been added. And this color here also matches with the color palette that we have and also these vibrant colors that we have in the main hero area. All right, so now that we've added that, we can also go ahead and add our drop down menu color so we can also uh, add the drop down uh, colors, but you know what? I'm not going to do that for now. I'll just leave that. The next important thing here is to add my font. So I'm going to choose my pop, my font. And um, I know you want to guess that. Yes, it's going to be Poppins. <laughs> so it's going to go all the way down here. And I think I've passed it. There we go. O P Q R. There we go. Right. So that's going to be my main font. And I can also. Uh, make it um, 
all caps, because I think that looks much better. All right, so we also have options here to add our letter spacing. So I'm gonna add a bit of letter spacing here. So I'm gonna go with two. Uh, size 14 is okay. I'm happy with that. And over here, we also have the option of having that search thing. We can get rid of it or um, replace with something else if we need to. But uh, I'm pretty much happy with the colors. And I'm also happy with um, the capitalization of my menu over here. Now, drop down menu line color. Let's get rid of that and just add one of our, our colors here. So if you have any drop downs, you could come over here and really... Um, work on this and uh, make your, your website look much, much better there on the header area. Now our drop down menu and uh, animation, you can also play around with that. But you know what? I'm pretty much happy with what I have here. Now over here, we can uh, also add a secondary bar on the top, but again, uh, let's just keep it simple. I'm gonna hit publish and then I'm just gonna close out of this. Now let's take a look at our website. In fact, I'll just come over here to the main page and refresh. There we go. So now we have our header area and let's get rid of this pop-up. So now if I scroll, you can see that it contracts and it is fixed as well. So wherever you are, you can just click on a different page and that will go to that page and it looks really, really nice. So this solves the problem of um, perhaps maybe you're not a fan of the new header uh, option that we have in the theme builder, you can always revert back to the old one and still use it with the rest of the theme builder elements. So this makes it really powerful because to be, in my opinion, the old school header actually has a lot more features uh, on it. So it, and it's also uh, responsive. So as you can see here, if I click on uh, the home button, it just takes me to the home button. And if I scroll, you can see it contracts a little bit and it stays in place. I'll just get rid of this pop-up. So that looks really, really nice. Now, here's the thing. In my opinion, this old school header actually works really, really well. If you're not a fan of the, um, the new header option that we have with the theme builder, you can just use this old school one. It has a lot of features. It's also mobile friendly. In fact, let me just show you quickly. If I drag this all the way down here, you can see we have uh, this hamburger and we can also go in and uh, change the color of the hamburger icon to match our branding. So as you can see, it is uh, really, really uh, good. We can use this and it also has way more features. The features that this has is uh, definitely more than what we have with the theme builder. So in my opinion, this one here is much better if you want a bit more style or maybe you want to align this to the left. You want to have uh, this on the left side of your website, you have more flexibility that way. So this is how you add the old school header and the new theme builder. So that's all I have for you in today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.